Hello guys, I uh, wanted to show you a quick way of uh, really extending the life of your battery and for the cell phone is always keeping it at like 80% and when you look at electric cars, Tesla or Volkswagen, they don't recommend charging to 100%. They always like to keep it at like 80 and maybe once a week to like 100% to calibrate it. But uh, lithium batteries, they, they don't really do good when they're fully charged and when you keep your cell phone even though it has optimized charging anytime it reaches 100 percent it's not healthy for the battery so the best thing to do is uh do a quick automation uh especially with iphone 13 uh, it's it lasts forever for me i mean I, iphone 12 did like a whole day and i was at 20 percent this one would would i don't know 20 30 percent and I'm good for the day. So from the 100, I'm down to like 60. So there is no really a point to keep it at 100 all the time. And what I did is I purchased this TP-Link. Uh, I don't know, two of these are like 12 bucks. Uh, I just got them on a good deal, I guess. So what I did is I set it up as a CASA on the CASA app. And you can see I have quite a bit in here. Uh, I have my modem that restarts every morning at five just to keep a good connection, my TV once a week, my dimmers, and most importantly, my um, 80%. So what I have is I have a, my charger plugged into this one. And basically I have it on on a schedule um, to uh, do an automation script from the phone. I'll show you how and what happens is anytime it reaches like 80 above 80 percent it kills the switch the the Wi-Fi outlet and Then I have a schedule to bring it back on maybe around noon So it's on again or in case I forget it. So what happens is we go to automation, shortcuts basically, and I have the script and I'll show you how, how I do this. So you go to automation, you go to plus, create a personal automation, and then you go to like uh, battery level. So here, set it up to 80 and it should be rises above 80. This will guarantee that any time it raises, it's not just being at 80, at any time, any values after 80, uh, it's gonna uh, send a signal to, to, the, to the smart outlet to shut down the charging. Now we go to add action. And here you're gonna type CASA. So here, CASA. And here, turn on and off device. Here, we're gonna set it up to off. We're gonna select the device, which is CASA iPhone 80% limit, done. And uh, you don't wanna say, uh, show it when it runs because it's gonna wait for you to do something. Here we do this, do not deselect as before running, don't ask. Notify me when run, don't do that. And we do done. So we have two identicals because I already had one. So what will happen is once you plug it in and when it charges to like 80%, uh, actually when it reaches 81%, it will stop. Uh, give it a try. See what you think in the comments and make sure you subscribe.